Our political director, Chuck Todd, is also a part of our team in Denver. Uh, tonight, debuting our new pre-debate polling numbers. And Chuck, how interesting that uh, 34 states are voting, but this race is still on the move, and either a gaffe or a big moment at one of these debates could change the numbers further. Look, it's absolutely true. And let's look at our new NBC Wall Street Journal poll. There are two numbers that matter more when judging whether a president wins re-election or not. It's his job approval rating and where people see the direction of the country. For the president right now, his job approval rating is at 49 percent. Disapproval at 48. Our pollsters tell us that 49, that is in the re-elect zone. Now look at this, direction of the country. 40 percent say we're on the right track. That 40 percent is not a great number, but it's actually the highest number we've recorded in three and a half years. Let's move to the head-to-head -head with Mitt Romney. This is where the race has tightened a bit. The president's number is steady at 49. Mitt Romney has picked up a couple in the last couple of weeks, sits at 46. What's helping him? Republican voters more enthusiastic. They make it through the likely voter screen. But it's been a couple, uh, couple of tough weeks for Mitt Romney. That 47 percent mark, it has left a mark, if you will. When we ask, is there anything you've heard in the last few weeks that's made you more favorable or less favorable on Mitt Romney? 51 percent said what they've heard has made them less favorable. That said, the president's got a couple things not going for him. On the issue of Libya and Egypt, more people disapprove of how he's handled the situation there than approve. But the overarching theme here, Brian, and why is the president in a commanding small lead? 57 percent tell us the economy is now in recovering. Highest number we've recorded on that question. Chuck Todd already in Denver, part of our team on the ground there. And he'll be part of our on-air NBC News team tomorrow evening for our live coverage. That begins 9 p.m. Eastern time. That's when we come on the air, 6 Pacific, here on this NBC station.